Hello everyone, this is Dieter from Retro Gaming and today I want to talk about a new idea that I had for Astroneer. So let's go and take a look at that. So um, here we are. Uh, basically, the idea is about resources, right? Um, I, we have the Astroneer, by the way, in case you didn't know, that's what the player is called, right? The player is called the Astroneer and um, you, you are the player. So you have a name in the game for your character. It's Astroneer. So that's the thing. Um, and the Astroneer is carrying a terrain tool. Um, and the terrain tool is um, doing all kinds of things, right? Um, you can um, ingest um, terrain, you can farm resources, you can output terrain, make things higher and lower, um, anything you want. Uh, here you see there's a couple of attachments on that terrain tool, and the attachments actually have a name. The attachments are called augments. So the game has a specific name for for the attachments, right? They are called augments. And the augments that are available, uh, there's a whole bunch of them, right? But uh, here's just an example of a relatively rare augment. It's a terrain analyzer. It's used to pick a color, and then you can paint with that color the terrain if you so desire. So the augments is um, attachments to the terrain tool, right? So my idea here is, um, this is, does not exist in the game. I, I photoshopped it. I, don't, I didn't even use Photoshop, right? I just put two pictures from the Wikipedia together and that's it, right? So in this example, um, any, any augment will do fine, right? Um, in this example, we have a, a small canister, right? Um, and you can actually attach a small canister to the terrain tool. Um, but imagine this is a new augment and we call this augment a pipeline augment, right? Uh, now, why would we do that? What's a pipeline? Well, my idea is that the resources that are being collected by the terrain tool are being not deposited in the backpack of the Astroneer, but they go into a pipeline and the pipeline could be, you know, quite a ways away um, and the resources then are outputted at the end of that pipeline. So let's take a look how that would work, right? So you have the pipeline augmentation on your terrain tool, and then you need to make the actual pipeline, right? The actual pipes that, that you would build. And so in the picture here, we see this is a extender pack, a pack of extenders, right? You see the little extenders there. They even have little yellow power icons. But let's make a pipeline pack. That's the idea, right? Um, uh, we have tethers, we have extenders. Um, why not pipeline pack, right? So you have the, the augment on your terrain tool, you have the pipeline pack, right? And the, the pipeline works very similar to the tethers or the extenders, right? Um, if the player is a short ways away from the pipeline, um, there's sort of like a visual um, indication that the player is, that the terrain tool is still connected to the pipeline, right? And so whenever you would be um, vacuuming up resources, um, those resources then would go into the pipeline and be transported um, off to wherever the pipeline ends, right? And we're going to talk about that in a while. And so the idea is to use the pipeline similar to the extender segments that we see here on the screen, right? Except, except this is sort of like an electrical connection. It looks a little bit like a USB port, to be honest. But um, instead of doing an electrical connection, we would do a resource pipeline segment collect connection, right? And you can um, deploy them pretty much like extenders or like tethers, doesn't matter. It, either way would work, right? So you have a, a, a pipeline segment that you can deploy um, and then you can sort of, um, uh, you know, chain them um, into each other. In this example, of course, this is an extender. So it's connected um, to a platform because a platform needs energy, right? But in, in our resource pipeline, just imagine that um, this would be not directly connected to the electrical port or the power port of the platform, 
um, it would be its own thing, kind of like extenders are, uh, uh, kind of like tethers are, right? Tethers, you can put a tether and the tether would possibly connect to a platform if the pla platform um, is connected to an oxygenator, right? So that is how that would work. And so we have a pipeline start, right? You put basically an augment on the terrain tool um, and then whatever you do with the terrain tool, um, possibly uh, resources and uh, maybe also soil, right? You could then transport in the pipeline uh, and transport it possibly over far distances, right? So how would that work at, at the end, right? So the pipeline would also have an end. So here we have sort of like an end indicator. Again, I used a small canister, you know, because I mostly had the picture already. So um, you would position that end location of the pipeline somewhere, right? Possibly on a platform. And then the same um, rules would be executed um, as it is currently when you put a, a resource canister on a platform, right? And the, the you put output enabled for the resource canister and the resource canister, if it has resources in there, it will just sort of spit them out and they would then distribute on the platform where the resource canister is located. The same rules would apply for this item, right? You would sort of have the pipeline end, you, you plug it in somewhere, right? You could plug it on a storage silo or you could plug it on a storage platform, right? Um, anything will work. Um, and then the resource pipeline knows, okay, this is the end and this is where it's going to distribute the stuff, right? Um, so that's uh, the how the destination is determined, right? Uh, of course, let's say if there's multiple destinations, uh, you use the same principles that you do currently, right? Uh, pick the closest one, pick a random one, anything is better, right? If we were to um, switch this to the, to the player, right? So that the player has to sort of manage how this all works, then that's, that's fine too, right? No, no harm done there. Uh, the player can take care of that and can manage that and, and micromanage it, it's fine. Um, so we have a start, we have an end. Um, and th that's, that's essentially it, right? And so the idea here is that the resource pipeline, it can go like a tether in this um, example picture. Um, it can go all over the place, right? Um, and, and you can um, sort of deploy them uh, very similar, like, uh, uh, you know, extenders as well, right? Here you see that there's extenders that go um, to one of the gateway engines, right? And it, as long as you have the material to make the extenders, you know, you can, you can um, make quite long, cover quite long distances. So that's, that's the idea of that, right? So you could make a resource pipeline, uh, collect it again when you don't need it, right? Like you can collect extenders. Um, and you could possibly take this, you know, um, to underground, right? Uh, to where there's a deposit, um, let's say la some laterite, right? You start uh, vacuuming up that laterite uh, and the resources then are uh, transported via the pipeline and then deposited somewhere above ground, wherever that end marker is of the pipeline, right? So um, we have the start and end items, that's, that's that. In this case, it's, it's a resource canister, right? But imagine there would be like a, a you know, very specific item of some sort. Um, and then you have the, the pipeline pack, so to say. In this case, it's just a pack of extenders. There's five of them, right? Uh, tethers is more than five. I know that, I'm not super sure. I think there's 11, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and my idea is uh, for the pipeline pack, maybe we can use steel, right? Um, because it is a somewhat mid to late game item. Um, somewhat like the probe scanner uh, is using steel already, right? So, um, and steel is something that is quite abundant on a single planet, uh, which is glacial. Uh, you have argon, you have iron, and you can easily make steel. Uh, the same is true with extenders, right? You need to be on a planet that has copper, um, like silver, for example, right? And then you can make as much as you like. So the, and you know, steel production can also be automated. So there's, um, you know, the, the idea to just use steel um, to make a pack of five pipeline segments, so to say, right? Um, so that's my idea about resource pipelines. Um, if you guys have any feedback or are interested in, in learning more, let me know. 
um, and then you know we can we can have a discussion on that. So um, yeah, thanks so much for for um, taking the time to to uh, you know listen and think about it and give me some feedback. Right, let me know what your thoughts are. You guys take care. Thank you. Bye.